Gobbling up all sorts of food when it was hungry for a feast, this theropod once roamed Eastern Asia like a turkey on steroids. Meet Gigantoraptor. The history of this animal's discovery is quite interesting. Starting in 2001, when remains of a completely unrelated dinosaur were found in the inner region of Mongolia, that being the sauropod Sonidosaurus. I know this doesn't really follow well, but stick with me here. The discovery garnered a bit of popularity, and later on in 2005, paleontologist Zhu Xing was asked to reenact the discovery for a documentary. He agreed and went out to the quarry to pretend to excavate a thigh bone from what he thought was a sauropod. Lo and behold, the fossil he found was not at all what he was expecting. Realizing the bone belonged to a theropod in the same size class as Albertosaurus, a medium-sized tyrannosaur. Because this find was so great, Zhu immediately asked for filming to stop in order to carefully remove the other fossils that were associated with the thigh bone. After all was said and done, the name Gigantoraptor was born in 2007, which translates to giant thief in Latin. The full discovery ended up consisting of a nearly complete skeleton goes to show that the greatest things can happen when you least expect it, especially in paleontology. And in case you were thinking the name Zhu Zing was familiar, no shame if you weren't, he's one of the most noteworthy paleontologists to ever exist, making some seriously important advances in dinosaur discoveries within the areas of Mongolia and China. He's also named more dinosaurs than any other living paleontologist, so he's kind of a big deal. It wasn't until a while later, in 2015, when another potential Gigantoraptor specimen was reported, this time being a single dentary bone, the front of the bottom jaw. The time of the actual discovery, though, was in 2008. Later on, in 2019, dinosaur authors Ruben Molina Perez and Azir Larmendi noted that the dentary is most likely from Gigantoraptor, and it's remained the general consensus ever since. Like its name suggests, Gigantoraptor was huge, measuring at a whopping 8 meters long and 3.5 meters tall at the hips. If we included the neck and head in that, then the height grows to 4 meters or more. To put that into perspective, think of a turkey the size of an African elephant. And as if 8 by 4 meters wasn't enough for you, the individual that the fossils came from was later discovered to not even be fully grown. It was around 11 years old and still growing, that means an adult Gigantoraptor may have been even larger. It also means that it grew super fast, much faster than a majority of other theropods, and also just faster compared to most animals in general. Now you might be thinking, shouldn't Gigantoraptor's relatives be around the same size? And to that, I say nope. Gigantoraptor is what's known as an oviraptorosaur, and the second largest dinosaur in this group is Cidiopity, which measures at roughly 25% of Gigantoraptor's size. This makes Gigantraptor the odd one out of its relatives, which also includes the more famous Oviraptor. This entire family of animals gets a pretty bad rap in media, usually being shown as egg-stealing dinosaurs. However, they are quite the opposite, with many fossils even showing their parents covering their eggs up. That means that they are willing to sacrifice their very own lives to ensure the survival of their kids. Gigantoraptor also likely had feathers, same as its relatives, so the apple doesn't fall too far from the tree in that case. It's unknown just how much of a feathery coating it had, but depictions range from a mutated rotisserie chicken to more of a plush and cuddly creature. Since it's so large, it may have had a little less plumage than your average oviraptorosaur. If it did have feathers, they were likely used for keeping cool, since a bird-like coat can work as both a heating and cooling mechanism. Some portrayals of Gigantoraptor showcase it as using its feathers for display. Males may have sported brighter colors and elaborate patterns to attract the ladies, signaling their maturity. As for what it ate, there's not a large amount of direct evidence for that either. It's assumed that they ate pretty much anything that they could. Other oviraptorosaurs were mostly herbivores, but it is possible that Gigantoraptor occasionally opted out for a meaty diet if there was a dead body laying around that dead body being one it was probably responsible for. Anyone who has gotten on the bad side of a bird knows how scary they can be, so a smaller medium sized animal accidentally getting a little too close to Gigantoraptor probably didn't get off very easy. This omnivorous and adaptable diet could have been a way for it to survive during conditions where food was scarce. But even with this adaptation it still may have been hard to find nutritious food during tough times. Sadly, organizations like World Central Kitchen 
weren't around back then to help bring food in times of crisis, but thankfully they are around now. In fact, I'll be live streaming to raise money for them on December 2nd. This is in support of Thankmas, an event where several streamers, content creators, and more all join together to raise money for charity. The past few years, including this one, have been to support World Central Kitchen. World Central Kitchen works to provide meals to people in times of crisis. Whether it's a hurricane, earthquake, or other disasters, they are there. World Central Kitchen is a team of food first responders, mobilizing with an urgency to get meals to people who need them most. A nourishing meal in times of crisis is so much more than a plate of food. It's hope, dignity, and it's a sign that someone genuinely cares. This year, I think this will be hosted live and in person at the Orpheum Theater in Los Angeles. Look in the description to purchase tickets for the event. If you can't make it in person, like myself, that's more than okay. An absolute ton of content creators and myself will be streaming for Thankmas, so feel free to come by and support the cause. My Thankmas stream will be on December 2nd on Twitch, starting at noon central time. It's gonna have all kinds of video games, dino themed Christmas baking, arts, farts, and a bunch of other fun parts that you can join in on. This also includes giveaways and live rewards for donations. You can choose what dinosaur cookies I bake, you can have me bring out Buddy the Monitor Lizard, and even receive a dinosaur skull t-shirt. Look in the description down below to find links to donate to the campaign and to find my Twitch channel. Make sure to follow me there so you can receive a notification when the stream starts. Now I'm sure y'all want to see how this drawing ends and discover more about Gigantoraptor, so let's get back into Prehistoric Animal of the Month. In addition to fossilized bones, there have also been cases where eggs or eggshell fragments have been found in China and South Korea, which have been attributed to Gigantoraptor or potentially a similar animal that just hasn't been named officially yet. These eggs, not the animals in them, were given the name Macro Elongatulithus, which literally translates to huge elongated egg stone. A mouthful I know, but these eggs measured almost two feet long meaning they likely belong to an animal around the same size as Gigantoraptor. Eggs have been discovered all the way over in North America as well. However, these were found way earlier, all the way back in the 1960s. These eggshell fragments were discovered near the town of Castledale, Utah. In 1975, these fossils were given a closer look, showing that they looked similar to the egg fragments that had been found in China. That means that an animal like Gigantoraptor likely also lived within North America. Hopefully we can get out there soon and find some other fossil bone material of this mysteriously massive animal that once roamed the American West. The area Gigantoraptor lived in was a mix of wet and dry conditions, featuring large river valleys and floodplains. It had abundant plant life and diverse dinosaur species, including Electrosaurus, a Tyrannosaur built for speed. There were also a couple of Therizinosaurids, the aforementioned sauropod Sonidosaurus, and some Hydrosaurids. Because of Gigantraptor's size and strange looks, it quickly made its way into a variety of documentaries, video games, and other media. This includes Planet Dinosaur, a British docuseries, Dinosaur Revolution, where it was shown doing a very colorful mating dance, and it was even supposed to show up in Jurassic World before it was cut from the final release. And that's it for November's Prehistoric Animal of the Month. Remember to leave requests in the comments and check out the description for important links. We've got things like dinosaur merch, which will soon get overhauled, a Discord server to hang with nerds, and as mentioned earlier, donation links and other fun stuff for Thankmas. Have a happy Thanksgiving, and as always, keep your pencils sharp. Mm -hmm.